everyone, and welcome back to the Unreal World Let's Play. So, I think we need to build a shelter again, which shouldn't be too hard for that. It's also nighttime, and I didn't sleep last episode. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure we need to build a shelter. Is that it? Gonna push all that out of the way and deconstruct this one. That should work, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if we have to sleep in it or not. We'll find out. Shelter north. Yep. <coughs> Is that it? Looks like it. Harvest. Does this count? Yep. And yeah, the reason I'm not really picking the berries is because we can't do much with them. They're not particularly nutritious on their own. And in order to make anything useful out of them, we would need a <coughs> metal pot. Because you can't really cook with wooden bowls and such in this game anyway. Ooh. What kind of a person are you? Vagabond Woodsman. What you got on ya? 34 bear cuts. An axe, a knife, and a shovel. This isn't our friend from before, is it? Don't know. Looks like he's cutting down some trees, though. So, I'll leave him to his work. <coughs> Sorry if my voice sounds bad again. My throat's been bothering me, as usual. Oh, hi. How is it? It was passed out. How could it escape? Whatever game. Oh, it died already. Okay. I'm not gonna argue with it. Apparently it only took one arrow. Is it, um, E? I've been playing... No, it's E... C. I've been playing NetHack, so I'm getting the controls mixed up. The hack is on the list of games I want an LP though, so. Should actually get to that sometime in the future. I'm not sure when though. Probably not until after Unreal World is completely done because the hack is going to be another really big project I feel like. It's got a lot to it and even if I only show off a little bit, it's going to take a while to show it off. So, I don't want to have two projects this size running at the same time. Might start a companion project to this at some point, though. Not sure. If I do, it'll probably be a smaller game. I'm not sure what, though. Maybe powder? 
powder is pretty big too, though. Not sure. Want to get the side working before I start hanging up the meat again. It's probably going to be a pretty boring episode because of that elk, actually. <laughs> but, oh well. And I need cord. Is it make utility cord? I'm starting to remember the controls a little bit. Starting. I've only been playing this game for what, a couple of months on camera and probably a year or two or more off. I think 10 cords should be enough. Because we got about 190 cuts. So yeah, that should be just enough. I didn't need to break into that second fur. Do you need to start a fire though? Survival. S I improved our survival last time, I think, after we completed the path. Or whatever they call them in this game, I can't remember the little quest line thing. So, we shouldn't have two more, you know, half hour failures of making a fire anymore. At least I hope that's the case. That was getting really annoying. Should probably make some more cord after this, just so I don't have to make it just before smoking the food next time. I feel like I'm doing much else with the hides. I want to keep at least one around for like clothing repairs and stuff. But I don't really need like four of them sitting there untouched. Especially when I've already got another one working. Well, being worked on rather. Yeah, that's a little bit of a waste, but I don't really care. And roast the elk fat. sure what else I want to do this episode. I don't really have a plan when I started recording. I only really have some general idea of what I want to accomplish, but not this time. this wood up here that our friend cut down with us. Might as well start bringing that back. I 
me hit the keys so hard anymore. If I uh, fuck up the syncing, the key presses are going to be the most annoying part of it. Because those are going to be really obviously out of sync. But my keyboard is really clackety. So I don't know that it makes a difference. Because at least when I listen back to it, I can always hear the keys even when I'm not hitting them too hard. Makes syncing it a bit more annoying though. And yeah, I'm still terrible at syncing audio. You'd think after doing this for so long I'd have figured it out, but nope. sure why I have so much trouble with it. I guess I just don't have the timing for it. Which makes sense. I'm pretty bad at like anything involving rhythm. I think the way I think the last one worked pretty well though. That's what I'm doing this time too. Basically all I did was, I did a countdown before I hit recording. And then I cut the audio from before I started recording. The video. So, countdown, three, two, one, go, and on go, I hit the button to start recording. And it seemed to work. At least nobody's complained yet that I've seen. I haven't checked the comments today yet. Was the bear one said to be the oldest? I think so. Cancel that. Too fatigued. I'll do it when I wake up. I'm pretty sure fatigue does influence quality. It looks like it's already harsh though. Hmm. That sucks. Oh well. Where's the mouse? On the screen again. I don't like having the mouse on screen, but at the same time, sometimes the game makes use of it, so I keep it around. <laughs> I guess I could not record it, and you guys could just sort of guess where the mouse is, but that doesn't seem ideal to me. This is just taking a while. Eight hours for one hide. Eight and a half hours. Wow. And it was only harsh. He's doing months, months, months. Okay, so that's gonna be a while still. Hmm. Not a lot going on around here. That huntsman is still hanging around. What do you guys have? Crossbow, battle axe. Nothing really. Wish 
short bow, arrows, iron, something that I'm not even going to pr attempt to pronounce. I want to build a fence around the house actually now that I see these guys. It gets kind of annoying when you have foreign traders just sort of hanging around your house, trampling all over your stuff, cutting down your trees, etc. And they will do that. It's really obnoxious. So, gonna just make a little fence around the house. Not a trap fence, just a regular one. Also, um, at least in earlier versions, I'm pretty sure animals could steal food out of your cellar, which I would like to prevent them from doing. Apparently first we need sleep. So I guess we'll start it here. go out, I think past these trees and then back up. Because um, I want to have at least one branch tree left, and I kind of like the look of these. Finish that, and drink. Yeah. Just a small fence. I'm not sure if I want to fence in the little farm plot too. I might. It's going to take a lot of stakes to do this. Our sheep is making noise again. And plus that I could probably expand his um little fenced in area while I do this. Reach down there, yes I can. I kind of find it odd that you can grab stuff out of your cellar from an adjacent tile like that. So I'm thinking is bring it up to here and then connect them around here. So that's why one, two, three wide, I think. Yeah. going to run out of stakes again soon, I think. I should 
probably get a dog at some point. It's actually pretty useful. But like I mentioned before, I tend to have bad luck with dogs. I always end up dying when I get one. Not sure why exactly. Now let's make L1. There. I'm going to leave a little hole in the fence here at the water line. That way I can still use that spot for tanning, fishing, and I guess if I wanted to I could go out on a raft or something for the punt. I forgot we had a punt. I'm building those like endpoints because I want to make sure I don't accidentally build too far in one direction. It takes too long to tear these down. There. Do I have any... No, I guess not. I thought I had some more stakes there. Apparently not, though. Okay, take these down. Uh, that's the wrong menu. This is a running theme today, apparently. Hitting the wrong button. Now our sheep has a little bit of extra room. I'm going to build a little area over here for our next um, pet, basically. Either a dog or a cow or something. That's where that will go. Because I do eventually want to get more animals. I like having them. How many stakes do I have left? 30. I don't think that's enough to fence in that area. The fuck are you doing, guy? Get out of there. So I'm just going to use the extras to expand this trap fence a little bit. Just to get rid of them, basically. Don't really have much to do with, to do for them. With them, rather. Stakes are not particularly useful, I don't think. Do I have the shovel with me? I do not. Of course. Go grab the shovel. I'm just gonna fill in that hole while I'm there. I should have grabbed the shovel before I went there, really, but. Well. Do I really have none left? Cool. I was expecting to have a couple, like, stragglers, basically. Gotta stop saying basically so much, it's really getting on my nerves. So I imagine you guys are getting annoyed with it too. No, don't step into the water, drink from it. And 
and pop the hole here. Five for trap pit. What do I need again? Three trunks, ten branches, and some twigs. So I have most of that already. Actually, you know what? Well, after I sleep, I'm just going to cut straight through this. Since I kind of want them to be able to run this way anyway. So it doesn't hurt me at all to have this hole in the trees. I haven't made any javelins in a while. I haven't really needed them. But I could probably deal with a few. They're not bad weapons to have. don't need you right now, so you get to go. Now I should probably stock up on more food. I have 43 slender trunks, wow. I should probably stock up more on food, especially with winter coming, but I don't, I'm not that concerned f about it right now. We have so much. And we have another like 400 pounds of food coming. Yeah, 470 pounds worth being processed. I'm really just not concerned with it at all. So I think I want to make some javelins actually. Which I'm pretty sure I need stabs and a fire. much to say about making staves, really. I actually would like to see um, bow making get expanded in this game. I don't know, this game has sort of revived my interest in archery. I want to start, I want to actually take up archery as a hobby now. I've wanted to for a while, but I think I actually potentially could now. Hmm gonna make more. We have a lot of slender trunks and I need something to do with them. But I would like to see bow making in this game expanded. Like as it is, it's very simplified. It's not really a bad thing. <coughs> because it makes it easier to actually play. I would like to see the primitive bow stay the same, the like slender tree trunk bow you can make with a knife have that stay the same, but have um, short bows require some curing time and allow you to make long bows by splitting a trunk into bow staves. I think that would be interesting. You don't need to be able to make the other bows, but I think being able to make an all wood long bow would be a nice addition. On fire. There we go. I only took two attempts that time. Make weapon javelin. One nice thing is you don't need the fire to be going the whole time. So even if our fire burns out, you can continue making javelins. <coughs> 
which I don't really understand. That doesn't make sense to me, because the way I would think of going about it is you sharpen the point, then you fire hard in it, then you pick up the next one, you sharpen the point, and you fire hard in it. And to do that, you would need the fire to last until the last javelin, at least. But it's not how it works. It's probably for the best, actually. Be kind of annoying. I can eat those blueberries too. But yeah, fistful of blueberries. It's nothing, basically. You can cook them into porridges and stuff, which is why they're useful because then you can make them into, mix them with, uh, what is it, flour, and actually get, and it stretches out your flour a little bit. And yeah, burnt out fires in a fireplace count for this. Ow. Sorry, um, my headphones again. Yeah, I'm probably going to trade these javelins, but they're not bad to have around, too. Hmm. I should take, make ten decent ones that time. We're probably going to pass out once these are done, actually. No, not quite. Just sleep on the floor, doesn't matter. Need four more stabs. So the rough ones. Actually, I'm not sure if that's a good idea because it might take the quality of, it might take the lowest quality one and use that as the quality for all of them. Hmm. One way to find out. Let's test it. I can get a you can't make good out of bad though. Hmm. I know, I am thinking of starting a side project to this, but with my upload schedule being as um unscheduled basically as it is, I'm not sure a second project would be good because it, I think the way it would end up is I would do like a video of Unreal World blank day, video of second project, blank day, video of Unreal World. And I don't think that's ideal. I think if I'm going to have two projects, I should upload one a day. <coughs> Got 37 javelins, it's not bad. Gonna push the bad ones in there for now. Actually, I'm gonna do the same with this. And I think the paddle is not for trade. But I don't really need a poor fox trap, and I don't think I'm going to find anybody willing to trade for it. And yeah, the paddle should be in here. Sheep seems to be enjoying his new 
room. It's got footprints all over the damn thing. I have one piece of cord and two inferior cords. Yeah, I'm definitely going to make some more cord. Huh, apparently that three pounds is a bit off. It was just under two and a half, I guess. Now, the rounding in this game does get a bit weird. It's not too bad, though. You get used to it, but it is a bit awkward. I think it'd be better if it just gave you the exact numbers. Like, you know, you have 2.54 pounds of hide or something like that, rather than giving you 3 pounds if you have just over 2.5. I'm just making a bunch of cord then. Do we always have the hunting knife? For some reason I thought we had a broad knife at one point. I might have traded up for the hunting knife though. Not sure. cords, drop the hide, have the game lag a little bit. It doesn't lag when I'm playing normally, it's just because I'm recording that it's running a bit poorly. So it does actually run really well considering how old my computer is. but not well enough to be recording proof. A smaller game like NetHack should actually run a lot better. So it's both still being prepared. Right, well, I think I'm going to call it here then. It was a pretty dull episode, I guess, but it happens. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.